So uh, I'm Bruce Felch, I'm a cadet staff sergeant. My name is Sean Noonan, I'm a junior of Wonder High School. I'm Adam Stone, I'm a platoon commander. Uh, my name is Alex Dottie, I am a junior of class 2014. So why did you take the class in the first place? Um, you guys came to my school and I thought it was a really different program. Um, so I thought I'd try something new and I knew it was different in school. So. Most of my family had taken it beforehand and I've always heard there was a pretty good class and a couple of my friends had taken it. So I was pretty interested in taking it myself. I decided to take ROTC because my father is U.S. Army and he was saying that a girl couldn't pull off anything that a man can, so I decided to take ROTC to prove to not only him but pretty much everyone that a girl can do anything a guy can. I took ROTC. I signed up for it my for, uh, right before my eighth grade year started. Just kind of looking forward to see what it was like. Just I took ROTC because my brother told me that it was really fun and then he was saying that I couldn't do anything like he could, so I figured I'd show him up. The reason I joined the program was because a lot of my friends were doing it and they kind of talked me into it. And I was like, yeah, sure, it's something different. I'll give it a shot. Why not? I'm in high school. My uncle was in the U.S. Marines and he talked about it a lot, so I wanted to see how it would be in the exercising and stuff. So, Dottie, what's, what's, uh, what's been some of your greatest challenges in the class? Uh, definitely, my greatest challenge would definitely be PT. PT, I was, um, I was never the most fittest kind of kid, but I did do football freshman year. It wasn't really my thing because, I mean, I did feel pretty fit after, but I just didn't really want to follow up on it. But ROTC, it kind of made me feel like it sh made my endurance go up a lot more than when I was a freshman. Well, I was doing football, so I was kind of tired. My muscles were kind of sore. but. Even then, the PT is a little bit harder to practice because you guys expect more of us. You want to push us to our uncomfortable zone and make us better from what we are. And I was one of those people, I was kind of a quiet kid. I was like, uh, I don't really want to go out and go for a run. But I made myself better and I improved and I feel really healthy now. I feel good. I've lost some weight. Just a good feeling. The PT itself, I've always loved because, like, it just makes you much, like, it teaches you, like, it does make you stronger, but it also just teaches you like the actual commitment and the endurance. And I've always liked that because like as working as like a team, you always seem to hold on a little bit longer, or do a little bit more than like personal like working out. And I've always like whenever I've done PT in this class, I've always tried as hard as I can, put my hundred percent in. Were you scared at first? I was terrified. And now how do you feel about the program? We're like a big family. This program has really given me a lot and there's n I can't really, there's nothing I can do to repay all the things that, all the skills, all the fun, laughter, all the good friends I've met over my two and a half years being here. Everyone in here is like a family. We love each other. We don't always get along, but we push through it and we try to make each other feel at home, especially when we're out there doing drill. <laughs> For the uh, other students at Winnicott High School that may be considering Taking the program, or you know, uh, are looking at other electives. What, what would you uh, tell them? I tell them to actually give it a chance. It may be different. Like I said, it was different at first, but it's quick to catch on to, and it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of cool stuff, like the Mount Major hikes. We've done beach cleanups before. The cancer walks. I felt really good about myself after I did that. Okay. Um, the parades that we do. Okay. It just you feel good as a person helping out the community doing a lot of community service. I know I felt really good about it. Okay. You should really try it because it's good for leadership and it's going to help you later on down the road. The way they look at this class, it's like a military class where like everything's really strict. And you'll realize like right as soon as you start this class is nothing like what everybody else look like what else, eh, everybody else looks at it like. Like when you go in with the uniform it's always like, oh you're the walking shrub and like blah 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 but you realize like what that uniform means and the class is like as much as they say it's uptight and everything it's a really like it's a good class everybody gets along and everyone's practically like a family so like in my opinion I feel like MCGRTZ is a great experience it's like it's more of a break than just a class in my opinion like it's actually something where you learn have fun and have a good time doing it and I wouldn't think of it as much of a class as much as like 
back to the club, something that you do for your fun, and you actually will like learn to just love and try as hard as you can in the class and do good at it and be good while doing it. Um, to take the program just to give it a shot. Um, it's not like the usual gym. You have to learn things too, and it's just different because it will help you down. I would tell them just to try it. I mean, the worst thing that happens is you, you drop out. It's not something you like. Um, no one's going to judge you for it in here. This is a judgment free zone. I mean, they say that everywhere in the school, but this is actually a place where no one will judge you just for something. I mean, if you think, oh, I can't join because I can't do PT, don't worry. We will make you be able to do PT. We'll push you in. If you can't do it, then you can sit out. And we're fine with that. We like to see that at least you tried. That's what we want to see. Okay. If you're like, oh, well, I don't want to wear the uniform because everyone will pick on me. You won't be the only one wearing the uniform. But every day that I wear the uniform, I see freshmen coming in, and I'm like, oh, hey, you need to fix this, or oh, hey, just so you know, that that's a little messed up. And everyone just looks out for each other, so it's good. It's a good class. I've had a lot of fun in here for the past three years. You should definitely take ROTC because it's the best class I want to come in. Guys, why don't we just keep, if we keep pushing it, eventually it'll slip and it'll go. See? <laughs> Austin, you're dead, but it was worth it. Now we gotta get from here to there and across. How are we gonna do that? You jump on. You're hurting. Got it? There we go. There we go. Drag pull, 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 pull. Turn it on the side, close the rope. This is the memorial, the name of this place is Tactical Training Base Kelly. Hey, fuck it up. And it's named after Sergeant Kelly, who uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country and for his uh, brothers in arms. So, we try to keep this place looking nice right here. For uh, Sergeant Michael Kelly. His family was just here. They come and visit once a year. Uh, that's, how, that's, that's what we dedicated it to. So. It's a nice spot for a picture, but anybody's got a... Uh, I'll take the picture. If you guys want to take a picture, what do you got one? I'm 
He wasn't here yet. He didn't stay after yet. Couldn't make him. What a bad kid. You all right? Um, you should all be very proud of yourself for making it up the mountain. I saw a lot of teamwork on the way up and that made all of us very happy to see. It's glad, it's good to see that you're all helping each other uh, in and outside of school. Um, right now, we are going to eat. First, I want to get everybody right here picture. for a picture. Put my stick together, Marcus. And then as soon as we're done, we'll have some, uh, we'll get some chow. <laughs> All right. Listen up. I'm going to call your name and just sound off. Dylan Tavishan. Here. Sean Noonan. Here. Tori Cook. Here. Tatiana Bodwin. Here. It's going to be a briefing on Breast Cancer Walk, which is hopefully all of you know pretty soon. MCGRTC volunteers, all of you guys, did a good job coming out here volunteering for this event. Um, myself, CEO of the operation, Adam Stone. Is the XO, uh, Trevor Homan, Sean Noonan, and Hamilton's not here. Um, look for those people if you have questions, because they're planners. We're going to be guiding people through the walk. Uh, the honor there's going to be an honor guard. We're going to walk up the survivors during the um, you know the the event at 10 o'clock. Honor. Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> yeah, very nice. You got the wrong Alright, what's it up? Hey, how was it going to shake down? Uh, here in about eight minutes, we're going to head over and the color guard will stage and then the rest of you, Garrick will give you your assignments. We're going to have a 12 person honor guard, which will be six on each side. Uh, Zach Williams is going to present the, the flowers. How do we do that? Uh, I will show you that. Right there at the center of the stage, there's a thing of carnations. As the survivors walk up, they'll just simply hand them one. They'll walk off to the right. The guide will go back for uh, the escort. will go to the left and go around and pick somebody else up. And we'll just, we'll just have a rotation like that, okay? ROTC Color Guard. Ruthann D'Agostino. <laughs> Lynette Chase. <laughs> Wendy Kennedy. for the Winnie County High School ROTC. That's all the games that we've tried this year today. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. You look awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Woo! Woo! Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. It's starting. Once this group, right, right, right by that red truck, once this group goes, carry them a 
It's gonna get chilly quick, guys. Are you through? Freezing my guy on top, sir. Huh? <laughs> How was it? Wonderful. How are the arms doing? Good experience. So much fun. You were out, sir. You were out? Hey, thanks a lot. You guys look great out there. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we find our country's battles in the air on land and sea. First to fight for all.